The geostrategic implications of climate change are being felt everywhere, but different countries are approaching it in different ways. So if you like, take for example India and China, two of the most important countries going forward in this century. India is definitely going to be affected domestically by environmental change and climate change issues. It's slowly coming to grips with it domestically, but it's really not on the agenda in terms of its foreign policy. It may be negotiating in certain ways around uh, carbon, but apart from that, it isn't really positioning itself for the new physical world that it's going to face. China, on the other hand, is very aggressively incorporating a changing global environment into its foreign policy. And you can see that clearly in the Arctic. China is an Arctic power. It's got an icebreaker, it has a second icebreaker on order, it has research stations in the Arctic and Antarctic, it uh, is going for observer status at the Arctic Council, it's building the largest embassy in Iceland, it's looking to put two to 3,000 workers into Greenland. It has taken the new physical global realities into account in its foreign policy. It is well ahead of the game when it comes to trying to position itself in this new world. And we should really take a good hard look at that and figure out how we want to incorporate our futures into that new global future.